All right, so this is the first goal in the Portland Timbers versus Philadelphia Union match. This one comes courtesy of Julian Carranza off of a corner kick by Kai Wagner. And a couple things I want to point out to you guys before we hit play on this video. Uh, first, you're going to see an arrow with Moreno. All those players in there for Portland, they're playing man marking on the three Union attackers here. And so it's important to watch the movement on Moreno. His man marking Glesnes loses him and eventually drifts off onto Julian Carranza. I also have two other players for Portland highlighted here in Eric Miller and Dario Zibaric. And there's three people by the time this ball gets played in by Kai Wagner. Three players on Julian Carranza and not a single one of these players win the ball for Portland off of Julian Carranza. Kai Wagner with the in-swinging cross. And you can see McGraw backs up, doesn't start on the post, doesn't pick up a man, so he falls back towards that post. And it's a good header by Julian Kranza. But once you watch this replay, this is just terribly defended. And at a point in this game, it was all Portland and the Union were doing a good job just bending but not breaking. And, you know, their first real chance in this game, that's a huge goal by Julian Kranza. In swinging ball. Three players right there though. One Julian Kranza. McGraw eventually drifts off onto that post there. And he can't get a header onto that. But look. Three players right there. McGraw. The ball goes right over his head. It's a really good header here by Julian Kranza. Nothing the goalkeeper can do here. But terribly defended. If you're a Portland fan. You're, you're very very disappointed in the defending by your club. Alright, so this is the second goal in the match. This one comes courtesy of Quinn Sullivan. And so, you're going to see Portland just playing out of the back right here. Taking their time, trying to build up this play. But, this is going to be really good pressure here by the Union. It's not the greatest press in the world. But, it's enough to cause this mistake. And so you have Jeremy Raffanello and Kai Wagner with the two arrows in front of them. Marcus Anderson's pressing the ball. But as soon as this ball gets played, just look how quickly Kai Wagner and Jeremy Raffanello shut down them guys. And it's just a miscommunication, mispass here. Marcus Anderson picks up the loose ball. And Portland actually does a pretty good job tracking back and getting men back in position. I want to highlight a player here by Portland. And that is Eric Miller. They're outside back. Just watch his awareness. He keeps scanning the field, which is good, but he keeps looking left. He's not aware that Quinn Sullivan's behind him. And by the time this shot gets taken by Raffanello, Eric Miller isn't aware that Quinn Sullivan was right behind him. He's confused. He's surprised that Quinn Sullivan makes that run in behind, was not aware Quinn was on his right shoulder. And that's just really good awareness by Quinn Sullivan to pounce on this loose ball. It's a great attempt by Jeremy Raffanello from distance. And we have seen in the first half, towards the end of the half, Raffanello tried to distance from shot. It just missed. Nobody shuts him down. Turns in surprise that he's in a lot of space here. So why not? Ball's bending down towards the ground. Goalkeeper maybe could have done a better job to parry this away, but Eric Miller, he's got to be more aware there to not be aware that Quinn Sullivan's on his back shoulder running onto this ball. Great goal by the Union, 2-0. All right, so this is the third goal in this match from the Union. And again, just like that second goal where we see the press from the Union cause a mistake, we're going to see the press again by the Union cause another mistake here for Portland. I want to highlight, though, right here, because this is very important to notice. Once Quinn Sullivan gets fouled, notice how many players Portland has back. They only have four players back in their defensive half of the field. Everybody else is pushed for it. And so Quinn Sullivan is going to close down Zuberich right here, who's receiving the ball. It's a great shutdown by Quinn. Olivier Beiser is right there to shut down Anthony. And... The foul is given to the Union, and this is good heads-up play by Jacob Glesnes to play Mikel Uwa in. And like I said, I mean, look, nobody's back defensively. Zuberich, the setter back for Portland, still walking back. 
out of position completely here. Portland called napping. And this is just really good awareness by the Union to take the quick free kick. It's a great pass by Jacob Glesnes. It's perfect. And you can just see how much it means to the Union. They're all celebrating with Mikau Uo because this is just really good heads up play here by them. Portland, give away the foul. And they don't get set. And you can see right here, Jacob Glutzness realizes it. They don't have players back. It's a great ball into Mikau Ua. First time cross on the ground to Julian Kranza. It's a terrific finish here by Julian. Great weighted ball into him by Mikau Ua. And the Union take advantage of a huge mistake by Portland to put them up three goals to nil in Providence Park. All right, so this is the fourth and final goal from this match. This one comes courtesy of Portland Timbers' brand new signing, Jonathan Rodriguez, a.k.a. Capacita. And we're going to see just Alejandro Bedoya clear this ball away. It's not totally clear. Portland gets to the ball first. They keep the play alive on the Union's left-hand side of the field. It's not very well defended by the Union. Not good shutting down. Santiago Moreno is able to collect the ball, pick his head, and send in the cross while... Cabasita is able to get in behind Olivier Baizo and beat him to the header here. And so we can see, just not totally cleared away here by Alejandro Bedoya. Portland's first to the ball. They keep it alive. Portland are in behind Marcus Anderson. has got to do better there on that tackle. And as soon as this ball gets played into Moreno, just look at all the space that he's in. Nobody's closing him down. And this is similar to what we saw last weekend in the first goal that Austin scored with Diego Rubio. Jimenez, too much time on the ball, able to collect, pick his head, send in his cross. We see it exactly here with Santiago Moreno for Portland to get their first goal in the game. But also pay attention to what's going on here in the box. And so you have Alejandro Bedoya man-marking Evander. You have Jacob Glesnes defending two Portland attackers. And then you have... Olivier Baizo on Anthony. Well, Jack Elliott should be slotted in a lot closer here to give Jacob Glesnes cover. He's just spread apart way too much. And again, just going back to what we saw in Austin last weekend, what we've seen throughout the season with the Union center backs, you, you want them to be more compact. You want them to be closer together. You don't want one of them dragged out wide. And it's been an issue all season long, and it's an issue right here on this play. And so the ball gets sent in by Moreno. Cabasita out jumps Olivier Baizo. Like clean sheet's gone. And Portland, 10 minutes to go, they feel like they have life into this game. But the Union were playing just so well throughout this whole game defensively. Believe between Jacob Glesnes and Jack Elliott, they had eight clearances between the two of them. This whole game, a lot of balls sent in to the area of this game by Portland. And uh, for the most part, the Union did a good job dealing with that, but not right here. It's, you know, maybe a little bit of tired legs. Marcus Anderson has to be better there. Moreno able to touch, pick his head, and send that ball in. But Jack Elliott just completely caught out of position here. There's nothing that Olivier Baizo or Jacob Glesnes could have done here. It was 3v2 in the whole situation, and Portland capitalized to make it 3-1. Alright, so the last thing that I want to point out here are the saves by Oliver Zemla. He had himself a hell of a night with Andre Blake out on international duty with Jamaica. And without some of these saves here, this could have been a totally different game. This could have been a Portland win, especially early on in the first half. Uh, we're going to see Santiago Moreno just dribbling way too easily through the Union's midfield and defense. It's a really good save there by Zemla in the 17th minute on Evander. Should have put Portland up 1-0. In Portland, we're growing into this game. Right after this play, Cabasita hits the post for Portland. Somehow the Union, you know, bending a little bit, but not breaking. And this is going to get your confidence going with this huge save from Evander inside the 18-yard box. Reads that one really well. This one from the free kick, an easy, comfortable save by Oliver Zemla. For save number three, uh, this is just really, really key here. I think this is the turning point in the game, honestly. The Union had a chance with Mikel Uwe to go up 2-0. Shot from distance from Evander. Oliver Zemla reads that one well. 
parries it well to go out for a corner kick. And we're going to see now a chance for Portland off of a corner kick. And this one honestly should have been put in the back of the net by Williamson, by Zuberich. Neither one of the players can get to this ball. Zemla misses his punch here. And that should have been a goal there on the back post. Two guys for Portland. It's a great ball in here by Evander. Zemla believes that he's fouled here. Two guys back post should have put this one in the back of the net. But, you know, the Union bent a little bit, but they did not break here. You get a better look here. Was he fouled? Was he not? I think that's a clean play right there, and that's one that Portland would love to have back. You know, a lot of missed opportunities in this game by Portland. We go into the 94th minute here. It's a good save from distance. Zemla always has this one covered. But this is what you wanted to see from your goalkeeper. You wanted to see him save shots from distance. You want to see him... You know, just be confident in the net with his back line. Really not great from the Union shutting down the shot from distance way too easily. But the shot didn't trouble Zemla. And then this one, just a free shot by Cabasita. And Zemla makes a really good save here. Ball takes a deflection, but, you know, Zemla again, just really good positioning from him all night long. Comfortable in the net. And now you feel confident if you're a Union fan that you finally... You finally have a good backup goalkeeper, a goalkeeper that you can rely on and a goalkeeper that you're going to have to rely on here come the summertime.